Hey there, and welcome to this episode. As you can see today, we want to talk about working with our projects. So the first thing we want to do is access our project menu. And you can see project is written here underneath subpad. So of course, we're going to do shift and subpad and open up the project selection menu. And you can see it on our display here. Now, the pad that is flashing, number seven, where it says current here, that is the currently open project. So if I press this, I'm going to go back to the project I was just working on. Where we have these strongly lit orange pads, they are previous projects that we've been working on. So you wanna go back to an old project, you can click one of these. And the dimly lit orange pads are essentially like your free spaces and where you can create new projects. So if you wanna create a brand new project, I can click one of these. And generally when they open up, they have a tempo of 90 BPM. I'm not sure if you can change that in the settings, but that's kind of the default value for a new project. And you can check that by doing shift and 11, where we have tap tempo here to open the tempo menu. And you can see 90 BPM. And I'm going to come out of that and exit. So let's say you've been working on something and actually you want to delete a project or shift things around. We can do that by going back into the menu. So we do shift and do sub pad here again and open the project menu. And inside of here, we have a few things that we can do. So let's say we wanted to create a, uh, a bit of space. Now, how this works, I suppose we should talk about that. When you have your SD card in here, and you make a project, you have all your samples on the SD card, the way the SP404 works is that when you create a project, it essentially copies the files that you're working with to the unit itself. So if you take the SD card out, your projects and all your samples will still be loaded in here because this has 16 gigabytes of its own internal memory. And for speed and to be able to play around with your samples, it copies them to the unit uh, and then stores them here. So let's say you're starting to fill up your 16 gig and you want to delete one of these uh, projects. It's as simple as pressing delete and you will notice anything in this kind of purpley pink color here that is lit up is a project. If I press one of these, say I wanted to delete project one, it's gonna flash, doesn't delete it straight away. It waits for me to press delete again, and now it's performed that function. So if we go back to shift and sub pad again, you will notice this is now a free space because of course we've just deleted that project. And you can do a couple of other things inside of here. You can copy a project. So we can press copy here. Uh, and let's say there's something that you're working on. You want to continue, do a variation of it. If we press copy, then select the pad. It asks us for a destination where we want to put the project to. So I could say on this pad here, and then do copy again. And then when we go back into our project menu, you can see I've copied a project over. So that's how you work with the projects. You can delete them, you can start new ones, and you can shift them around, copy and paste, and all that kind of good stuff. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.